Hey there folks, today I have what is probably the last OU battle you will see with this team. It's not that I'm getting rid of this team, I'm just remaking it in UU, I'm trying to figure that out now. Uh, I just wanted a new UU team and this one was really isn't doing too well in OU. Anyway, my opponent is Zango R1993, who I found through Smogon. It leads off with a Politoed, so this is a rain team and why not set it up first turn. Uh, as I lead off with my Roserade, just to set up the Toxic Spikes, uh, I don't want to get down to my Focus Stash this early, so I go ahead and switch out into Pazuzu, predicting the Hurricane, and indeed my opponent does go for the hurricane. My opponent could have also been going for taunt, it could have been a, a prankster set, but that's the thing. You know, you see tornadoes a lot, but you rarely see it use prankster. Um, you know, it's it's really awesome ability. Anyway, so I predict the switch out, go for the roost, and get back up to full HP as my opponent sends out Gliscor, and I, I thought I had hidden power ice for a split second. That was just a complete idiot move on my part. So my opponent gets a free swords dance on that Gliscor, and I'm just starting to fear a little bit. I go ahead and call Pazuzu back, send out Ringo, my jealous and um, my opponent goes for another Swords Dance, so now it's a plus four, and now I'm starting to fear a little bit. But interestingly, he called it back, so I don't know why he did that. Anyway, I go ahead and go for Surf. Uh, it's not going to do anything against his Rotom Wash form, which he's named Politoed. I think that's a wild chase thing, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I go ahead and taunt this guy, seeing that he's running a um, defensive set. I know that I basically don't want to... Um, you know, I'm fearing the pain split eventually if I were to do anything. So anyway, I taunt it. That's excellent. He's going to go ahead and thunder now. And 100% accuracy from the rain. I am, looks like I'm faster than him, so that's good. So basically I can rest off that damage and thunder's not going to really be doing much to me. So I go ahead and uh, roost and that's going to get me back up to basically full HP. Just, you know, 2 HP points shy. Thunder, excuse me, thunder detonates again. Really doesn't do very much as long as I'm on the ground. Um, but interesting, I think his, so it appears that this is actually a speed tie based on how the leftovers are working out. His Hydro Pump misses, thank god, boosted by the rain, that would not have been good. And so now I'm, his taunt wears off, he goes for the pain split, wins the speed tie, and that's going to save his Rotom's life. Well, maybe not, I don't know, it was doing about 50%, I maybe could have taken it out, maybe not, I don't know, it's really too close to tell. Uh, so now my opponent's gonna withdraw Polytoad, go out to uh, Gliscor, it's gonna be a free switch, and there's really nothing I can do against that Gliscor. Even he, I mean, so I have three uh, three attacking moves. Um, the third is Heat Wave, and that's really not gonna do very much. Goes ahead and Ice Fangs, uh, Ringo is not gonna care about that at all, uh, and I don't really mind my Jelson being burned. Uh, it's actually probably the best status I could have. Um, because it's not a physical attack or anything. Anyway, boosted by the rain, Surf is actually doing a decent amount of damage. Now, I'm a little bit worried about a pain split, but, uh, you know, no one else is going to enjoy getting a pain split, so I leave in Jellison. Um, I'm down to 171 HP. Go for another Surf. Um, you know, it's doing damage, but this Rotom will just not die, and it's, it's just going to be really hard to kill, I figure. I really should have gone for the taunt here. Um, I go ahead and call back, send out Pazuzu, my opponent is going to go ahead and go for the thunder, uh, I know I can survive, and I'm just hoping that I can go first next turn, roost off the damage, and not die. Um, then again, actually the better move would be just to go for the thunderbolt, considering the HP is left, at left, but anyway, he goes first, his hydro pump hits, and that's it for my Zapdos, so that's sad, but I get a free switch out into Elkavon, I go for the sleep powder, it misses! Ah! And so my Sash is now broken, uh, thanks to that pain split. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for Sleep Powder again. I don't know why I didn't just go for Giga Drain. Well, it's, it was a bulkier set. I didn't think I could one-hit KO with Giga Drain. So now I put his Polytoad to sleep. I also was kind of hoping that he would switch out into Tornadoes, because Tornadoes would be a great thing to be put to sleep, considering the thing is such a big threat. Anyway, I do get off my second layer of Toxic Spikes. That's great for me. I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my Uchikoma. That is my, um... <clears throat> that is my Metagross. And here I know this is a Specs. Tornadoes, based on the damage that did, I calced it, that's definitely specs, so nothing I can do here, no one can take a hurricane. Uchikoma is sacrificed, Uchikoma was my only hope at uh, you know, taking out the, uh, this guy. Uh, I mean, I do have Rock Slide, and I guess I outspeed, I'm not sure, no, I don't outspeed, I definitely don't outspeed. Anyway, I go for a Rock Slide here, it actually does a fair amount to a Sleeping Polytoad, and I'm hoping he's going to let, yeah, indeed, he does leave in his uh, Rotom to die, so now he doesn't have anyone in the Sleep Fodder, so that means I can put someone else to sleep, potentially. Anyways, Polytoad is poisoned. I switch out into Ringo, um, my opponent's going to go for the Surf. It's going to not take me out. I don't have the uh, water absorb. I have the cursed body instead because you know I resist water type move. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm down to 22 HP. I'm just going to let Ringo die so I can get the free switch in to someone else. Ringo is down for the count. 
Uh, Polytone is up to full HP, less after uh, toxic damage. I send out Elkabong, and I'm predicting here the switch, but unfortunately he doesn't switch. He predicts that, goes for the Ice Beam. I luckily survive with 7 HP, and I'm like, oh my god, that was close. Um, but had I just gone for the Giga Drain, I could have gotten back up to full HP, I think. Maybe not. Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a one-hit KO against Politoed, but I'm at 128 HP, and now when he sends in Tornadus, I got nothing I can do. Hurricane is 100% accurate, super effective, and I've got no one who can take it. I will rather, I've got no one who can take two and kill. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Mick here. Uh, I'm basically down to the end. Hurricane is going to hit, and it is not actually going to hit KO because Mick is a freaking boss. I'm hoping for the crit. I'm hoping that payback will be, do enough damage. It does not. Hurricane again is going to take out my Umbreon, and this battle is basically over. I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is Lila, my Dramanitan. I think he thinks that I'm Scarfed. Um, I'm actually not. I am Life Orbed. I go for the Rock Slide. Doesn't really do very much um, against his Gliscor, but it's the attack that's going to do the most amount of damage to his Gliscor, and there's really nothing I can do. Earthquake to the face is going to kill Leela, and this was a very one-sided battle, and I have lost. So, catch this team in like 10 battles, and it'll be a UU team, and it should be fairly good, I hope. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, challenge.